Hey y'all, this is Bexie Beauty here with another hair review and a little bit of a tutorial today as well because I will be doing some crochet braids, okay? You guys, I haven't done crochet braids in a long time. I love doing them in the fall and winter months and since we are slowly rolling into what I call snowman moments, especially where I am on the East Coast, it's getting real cold already in October. I'm here for that, you guys, by the way. I love the cold weather. I know some people love the summertime, but for me, don't make me hot, okay? It's the only time I'm mean. It's the only time I'm rude is when I'm hot. <laughs> so in the summertime, I'm just a little bit more rude than normal. And so now that we're going into the fall and winter, I'm getting back to my sweet, wonderful, bubbly self, okay? Don't judge me, okay? Judge your mama. So the hair that I'm gonna be reviewing today, like I said, it's by Free Tris, and it's called, um, let me see if I can pull it down because it's in here, there it is. It's called Three Times Joyful Curl 20 Inch, and I'm gonna show you here. Let me see if I can get it for y'all. That's it, you guys. And it's 20 inches. It seems like it comes like three packs in one. So um, it's looking like it's gonna be one of those fuller curls. So I only got two packs. Now, y'all, I do have a big head. So I'm going to hope and pray, okay? I'm going to pray, Jesus. Please let this be enough hair. Come in the room and let this hair snatch together. In your name we pray, amen. You know I always put a prayer on my hairstyles anyway, but today we are gonna pray extra cause I'm not too sure if I got enough hair. <laughs> so we gonna pray. I need y'all to pray with me, okay? Touch and agree with me that this all works out for the good. Cause I might have to clutch my pearls if I ain't get enough hair. Ain't nothing worse than ordering hair online and it comes to you and you think you have enough and then you get halfway through your head and the next day you gotta walk around with a hat on because you ain't have enough hair. I know y'all been through it too, okay? It ain't just me, okay? You're not gonna tell me it's just me anyway. So we're gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna go ahead. I actually already have my hair braided down. Let me show you what I've got here. Um, I did my braiding pattern a little bit different this time. It's just straight back. There's 10 braids straight to the back. But in the back, there is a, um, in the back, I did a little bit of a beehive, as you can see. I think this is going to be cute. I'm looking at this curl pattern. And I just feel like it's gonna give me the naturalness that I always go for, so fingers crossed for me, you guys. So if you wanna see how this turns out, just keep watching, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm in the middle of my uh, process. Oh yes, I did change into my house robe, okay? Because I always get comfortable when doing crochet braids, but I don't even think I needed to. Y'all, it's only been like 45 minutes since I started this process and half of my head is already done. This hair is literally ticking off all of the boxes that I look for when it comes to crochet braids. I am obsessed with it already. It is soft, it's gorgeous. It really made me stop what I was doing and jump back on camera, cause y'all, you see the body and the movement already. I haven't even trimmed it to frame my face yet, but I'm gonna do that once I get through it. What's exciting me is that I'm not even through one pack of hair, you guys. Like, I have all of this left and you see my hair. I'm doing these a finger width apart because it is fuller hair and I don't want it too big. But like I showed y'all before, I'm taking each of the strands and I'm separating them into three because I don't want this too big like I said because it already is thick hair. Um, so I take each strand and I don't even think I'm gonna need, because it looks so natural and good, I don't even think I'm gonna need um, mousse at the end of this process. I think I just like it natural looking. So I put it in. And the other good thing about this is I don't have to do a whole bunch of shucking and jiving and maneuvering to get these to stay in place, these loops that I'm creating. I take it, I put, pull it through the loop once, I twist it once or twice around just depending on how I feel, and I pull it through again, and it's in place. Like, it's not moving, it's not going anywhere, it's not unraveling like some crochet braids do, I think because of the naturalness of this hair. Yeah, I'ma just keep going, and then I'ma come back at the end of the process and tell you how I feel, but I think I already know how I feel in my heart. All right, but I'm gonna keep going for y'all, okay? I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so this is what I got so far. I'm here for it so far. What I've been doing to cover up the cornrows here, as you can see on this side, I just have been going in and on, like you see where this hair is sticking out? I'll literally put this crochet needle into where the hair is, not the not the cornrow, but the hair next to the cornrow. And then I'll put um, strategic crochet braids there so it literally covers up the cornrow so I'll show you on this side like if you if I pull it 
you'll see the cornrows here and I just put some on that side so it'll just cover it up. Um, sometimes I'll do the invisible method but for this specifically because of the way the cornrows were placed I just felt like it would cover it up better um, if I put it right next to it. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. So I just basically put the, the crochet hook right next to it like I said. Oh and you guys one pack. One pack of hair. I have this whole other pack still here and I still have hair left over that I'm working with from this pack. So y'all, you can literally do this hairstyle with one pack. All right, y'all, so I'm back. As you can see in the last clip that I was letting run, I did it a little differently when I first installed it. This is actually the next day. This is next day hair. I put it on the side like I created a side part and the way that it was falling was okay, but something about it during the rest of the day just was not singing to me, okay? It just wasn't giving me what my soul needed. And so I just decided to move the part to the middle and cut it a little differently and y'all, I love this, okay? I love I am obsessed I love the volume I love the length that I was able to achieve this curl pattern is beautiful I did cut a, a few little bangs in the front like I cut it a little shorter in the front if just in case I wanted a little bit of a bang look um, but I love this middle part that I was able to achieve it is so it's so cute you guys I'm just I'm really here for it okay so one pack of hair okay I have this entire pack of hair left so you only need a pack of hair to achieve this hairstyle and um, it only costs eight dollars so y'all an eight dollar hairstyle you feel me you know we are always here for that eight dollar hairstyles are always in season okay okay this is synthetic hair so I'm assuming it's going to tangle eventually especially with this natural type of curl pattern that I have going on here I also suggest you know getting some scissors and when it starts to really tangle to just literally cut your way through the tangles and just separate it the thing about hair like this is that the um, because it looks so natural the older it gets the better it looks so even when it does start to tangle it just looks more like a natural lista hairstyle so you know we're always here for that okay we don't want this to look like a crochet we just know it's a crochet you feel me i really love this especially for fall okay it's definitely big hair don't care but y'all know i'm a diva so that does not bother me at all all right thanks for watching you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and definitely share this video if you are into joyful curl like i am because i really really like how this came out it's such a heart shape here okay y'all see it get into it <laughs> okay i'm gonna link my facebook and my instagram below if you want to connect with me on there and i'll see y'all on the next one all right bye bye